Do I say my name or anything? Or <laughs> it'll flash on the screen. <laughs> what was life like before you joined the Air Force? Before I joined the Air Force, I had the pleasure of playing at a theater in Lancaster called American Music Theater. It was a steady gig. We had lots of time to freelance. The, the hustle was fun. Uh, I got to meet a lot of amazing musicians, including those some of those in uh, Max Impact today. The downside was the, uh, the lack of job security, I guess, that freelancing comes with its, its own risk and reward, I guess. I was a freelance musician for about 13 years. In a lot of ways, I really feel like I was kind of the luckiest guy in the world because I had a, uh, a really nice situation in a really nice town, had a, had a steady gig at a theater that I worked at, had a pretty good freelance career along the side of that. You know, I wanted to get married. I wanted to uh, be able to be a good provider for my family. As you get to be my age now, you know, your priorities start to shift. I lived in Nashville for the seven years prior to joining the Air Force. It was nice to be my own boss, but also very stressful. I actually didn't know that this job existed until a prior employer reached out and told me that this audition was happening. And I talked to Technical Sergeant Gabe Stasnick, um, and I just, I asked a million questions about what the job was, what his life was like, what basic training was like, um, and if he even liked his job. Um, and he didn't have a single bad thing to say about it. Although I did have to stop some of the steady gigs I had, I don't feel like I really gave anything up. Um, as a musician, I'm used to going from one opportunity to the next, and I feel like by joining the Air Force, not only did I have a great opportunity to make music and play with great musicians, but I also, also gained a great career and stability and um, a fulfilling life for my family. If you were to ask me a couple years ago, would you be a part of the Air Force, I would have said no. And I actually turned down the opportunity once. But after my daughter was born, I realized that this was my one chance to be the sole provider for my family. Don't get me wrong, I loved what I did as a civilian, um, but none of it carried as much weight as this job. Now when I step on stage, I get to represent a lot of brave and heroic men and women, and it's my responsibility to represent them well. Well, the opportunity arose for me to join Max Impact for the upcoming deployment because due to the pandemic, it's been a little difficult to hire singers. So I saw it as a valuable opportunity for me to gain some good experience as a newer member. It's been nothing but excellent. The members of Max Impact are excellent at what they do, and it really has made me a better vocalist in general. Any last comments to share to those interested in this job? Yeah, um, reach out to one of us. I never thought that my life would take this direction. I never thought I would be putting on this uniform and doing this, doing this for a living. Um, but now that I'm in it and now that I'm doing it, I really couldn't think of another way for my life to go. I would say for anyone interested in this job, if you're interested in playing with top level musicians and making a living and having benefits and getting to travel, and experience and honor uh, those who have served and will serve, uh, this is definitely the job for you. If you have any questions about a career in the Air Force Band, I highly recommend that you reach out to someone and ask because the more you find out about these jobs, the more you're gonna wanna come here and join this awesome team.